Hi, I'm Graham Potts. I'm one of the partners here at Three Counties Equine Hospital. We're a 12-vet equine hospital here on the Gloucestershire-Worcestershire border and we uh, do first opinion and second opinion equine work. Um, some of our uh, work involves um, surgical work, some of it medical work, and we have vets that specialise in these different areas. There, there are 12 vets here at the practice and they all specialise in different areas and hopefully you're going to see some clips of some of the different things that we do here at the hospital. Okay, um, we're in the ultrasonography room um, and I was going to demonstrate here the uh, different um, ultrasound machines, uh, a, a huge number actually, but we basically have a hospital-based one and several portable ones. Obviously the hospital-based one, as you can see, is quite large and it's not likely to move around much. That's used for our inpatients. And then the small, very portable ones, which only weigh a few kilos that can be taken in the field. Um, the, the purpose of ultrasonography is largely to investigate soft tissue. So we're not particularly interested in bone, although it can be used to look at bone, but its biggest value is in soft tissue. Um, for example, tendons and ligaments of the lower limb. It can also be used to look at um, the bowels, um, even, the, even the lungs in the chest. Um, and importantly, also used in reproductive work to look at the ovaries and the uterus when we're um, working on studs uh, or for AI here at the clinic. Um, so basically, it consists very simply of a screen and a probe. Um, the probes um, are different sizes and shapes depending on what job that they need to do. And they also have the ability to uh, either um, be able to investigate tissue at great depth or more superficially. Generally, if the depth of the probe is not great, the uh, information we get is in great detail, or if we are looking at greater depth, unfortunately the detail isn't as good, but we can look deeper into the horse. Uh, generally, the larger machine here is used uh, here at the clinic for multi-purposes because it does have a, a variety of probes um, and the ones in the field will either have a probe for doing uh, soft tissues of the limbs or uh, a probe for doing um, rectal examinations in mares to look at the uh, reproductive tract. Um, just to demonstrate, if we put that probe on my hand, although it doesn't make much sense, you can see the type of image we'll generate and we'll, sh we'll go on to use this machine to scan a horse's leg. Okay, so we're using our ultrasound here to scan a horse's leg um, and we're most interested in the tissues um, below the knee. Um, and those tissues will be tendon, ligament um, and um, then lower down around the joint, the fetlock joint and the tendon sheath. Um, the image we're getting here, for example, this area shows us um, several structures on the screen. You've got the skin at the top, and then the superficial flexor tendon. The next one is the deep flexor tendon. And then there's a check ligament, that uh, oblong type structure. And then a suspensory ligament at the bottom. So we can fairly clearly see that there are four structures there on the skin. And right at the bottom, which we can't see on that, image will be the back of the cannon bone. So this is a cross-sectional picture. There's a blood vessel there standing out between the check ligament and the suspensory. And what we're looking for when we're doing this is black areas that might suggest tendon damage or ligament damage. So ultrasound or ultrasonography can be used for a variety of different problems and uh, one of the uses, um, which has been demonstrated here by Becky, is to use it to scan the bowels of the horse, the, the abdomen. And um, this may be a useful technique in the diagnosis of colic, for example. Um, obviously, the probe is able to pick up um, abdominal organs, um, such as the liver and kidney, and here it's picking up uh, loops of bowel. When a horse has colic, for example, the wall of this bowel may be very thickened. Uh, there may be gas in the lumen of the bowel. 
uh, there may be free fluid in the abdomen. And so ultrasonography is a very useful technique for picking up some of these things and for assisting us to make a diagnosis. It's not the only tool. There are many other tools that we use, for example, rectal examination, blood tests, uh, abdominal fluid samples, uh, assessment of pain, assessment of bowel noise, but ultrasonography itself may uh, assist us in achieving an accurate diagnosis and determining whether or not a horse may need to go to surgery.